Federation is the creation of a uniform set of services across multiple independent data management applications. Data grids implement independent data management systems. Actions performed in one data grid are not known by the metadata catalog of another data grid. Each data grid can implement different policies, manage a different set of users, interact with different storage systems, and implement a different authentication protocol. Tightly coupled federation occurs through the establishment of trust between two data grids. The two data grids can share namespaces, cross-register user accounts, and access data in the other data grid. Actions initiated by the first data grid can be executed by the second data grid. The establishment of trust between two data grids requires actions by the data grid administrators of both data grids. In effect, each data grid administrator establishes trust for the other data grid by registering information about the other data grid in their metadata catalog. In data grid A, the administrator executes iAdmin make zone grid B remote host B colon port B. This makes the location of data grid B known to data grid A. In data grid B, the administrator executes iAdmin make zone grid A remote host A colon port A. This makes the location of data grid A known to data grid B. Each data grid is now aware of the other data grid. Each data grid can authenticate itself to the other data grid using a shared secret. All interactions between the data grids are still authenticated. User authentication between two data grids is done using the Shibboleth model. User accesses are authenticated by their home data grid. User operations are authorized by the access data grid. When a user accesses a federated data grid, he or she is identified by the name of their home data grid. If the home data grid is different from the data grid they're accessing, the data grid connects to the home data grid and requests that the identity of the user be authenticated. If the user has logged into their home data grid, their access to the federated data grid will be granted. The federated data grid still controls access to all of its files. The user identity is defined by the combination of the account name and the name of the home data grid, account name pound home data grid. Accounts in the lifetime library have life life zone defined as the home data grid. Each data grid administrator sets up accounts for foreign users. Given an account in a federated data grid, a user can then issue permitted actions in the federated data grid. An example of two federated data grids is the federation of the lifetime library with the DataNet Federation Consortium. The lifetime library has a data grid running at SILS with the zone name life life zone. All logical path names in the Lifetime Library data grid start with the zone name LifeLibeZone. The DataNet Federation Consortium has a data grid running at the Renaissance Computing Institute, RENCI, with the zone name DFC Main. All logical path names in the DataNet Federation Consortium data grid start with the zone name DFC Main. My account in LifeLibeZone is RW Moore. This is my home data grid. My corresponding account in DFC main is RW Moore pound life live zone. My home data grid identity has to be linked to my account name in DFC main. I can log into the lifetime library data grid and then access files in my account in the DataNet Federation Consortium data grid. I do not have to log in a second time as the data grids manage the verification of my identity automatically. The DFC main data grid trusts the LifeLive zone data grid that I have correctly logged into the lifetime library. Take seven minutes and complete exercise 112. Try accessing the DFC main data grid. You will have a home collection with the name DFC main home, your account name, pound LifeLive zone. Use the cloud browser, try storing five files. Note that you have to first log into the lifetime library data grid. Please load a paragraph describing your result into the Lifetime Library in the subcollection class INLS 624 by the end of today's class. The Virtual Institute for Social Research, VISOR, is a project at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. The VISOR project is a collaboration between the Odom Institute and the Renaissance Computing Institute at UNCCH. A description of the project is available here. 
rensi.org wp content uploads 2015 05 visor white paper number 3 2015 high res.pdf the project is modeled after the iplant collaborative visor provides a shared collection that spans the participating sites support for computational workflows archiving of data collections and discipline specific tools the visor project supports research collaborations by building on the irods data grid technology and a secure research workspace to support analyses of protected data. The cyber infrastructure is intended to support researchers in social science, health science, environmental science, information science, computer science, and statistics. Interdisciplinary research is enabled through the Federation of Discipline-Specific Data Grids. Each data grid provides the tools, data collections, and analysis procedures needed for domain research. Federation of the data grids enables reuse of the analysis procedures in other domains, collaborative research on joint research questions, and access to environmental and social science data sets. This is becoming more important as NSF requires that each funded project justify the impact of the research. The impact is measured in terms of broadening the research community, improving the economy, and identifying social benefits. Major research projects now include a social science component that tracks how the research results benefit society. Both Odom and RENCI are working with data grid federations. Data grids managed by RENCI and Odom include AdCERC Storm Surge Modeling, UNC Genomics Data Grid, UNC Secure Medical Workspace, Visor, Dataverse Social Science Collections, Odom Archive, Genie Experimental Network. A data grid federation hub has been created by the DataNet Federation Consortium. The federation hub links data grids in cognitive science, engineering, social science, plant biology, hydrology, and sensor observation networks. The federation hub will also be linked to a big data hub for the southern region of the U.S. The Visor project will build upon these federation hubs for long-term research support. A disciplined independent version of the iPlant Collaborative Discovery Environment is being created at RENCI. The Discovery Environment supports the registration of workflows and applications, the packaging of input files and applications for execution at remote compute centers, the movement of computation to storage systems, and the movement of data to compute servers, and the organization and management of data results. This integrates computation and data management across distributed systems, enabling the formation of collaborations that use resources across multiple institutions. The access clients for Visor are similar to those used by other data grids, including CyberDuck, WebDAV, Cloud Browser, and iCommands. The Cloud Browser interface will support browsing of virtual collections generated by queries on collections and even external repositories. The cloud browser also supports access to federated data grids, enabling views on data across the entire federation. A version of the interface has been developed for use on smartphones, enabling the upload and download of data to the data grid from the smartphone. 